Hey, hi friends, welcome to Vigration Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about uh, where should we use the track catch block like inside or outside the loop in C sharp and on and also what is the uh, what is the impact or performance if we use the track catch block inside or outside the loop. So I'm going to explain you with uh, example like how we can use uh, the track edge block inside and outside the loop and what will be the uh, what will the impact and performance wise. So so like in the screen you can see uh, let me create a method. Okay so I have just created a method and I'm just going to use a simple for loop so we are just going to use the uh, for loop okay so so let's say uh, if we if we are going to use the going to use the track edge block outside the for loop okay so now here you can see let me use it outside the uh, for loop okay so here you can see uh, like edge we are going to use this track edge block outside the for loop so whenever any type of exception occurs okay so automatically it will hit to the catch block okay but it is going to hit it only once and automatically the the, the for loop automatically it will break so let me use here a simple example throw a new exception okay so so like whenever this this program executes so in in the in the first loop itself only it will it will raise this throw exception okay and automatically it it will hit to the catch block but so now let me just uh, run this and uh, and we'll we'll test this uh, method okay and and as we use the uh, track edge block outside the for loop and so so it is going to hit it only once like whenever any type of exception arises then only once it will hit so if if i run the program so now i'm just going to debug uh, it line by line so here we are inside the first loop so now whenever this throw new exception line uh, execute so automatically uh, it will hit to the catch block okay so so here you can see it, it automatically hit to the catch block and also there is one more thing is there we exited from the for loop okay so so in in the in the first loop itself only it got exit from that loop so it won't execute the the the, the next loop like second loop third loop or whatever the count is there so it won't execute so let me just of the application now edge as, as, as you can see we have uh, like inserted the tribe track edge block outside the for loop now just let me put the track edge block inside the for loop so so if i just put the track edge block inside the for loop then what happens is that it will it obviously it will run for that many number of times so let's say we, we are just trying to run the for loop for 10 times then obviously the track edge block will also run for the 10 times only but the thing is that it won't exit from that loop so whenever any type of exceptions or error arises then it won't exit from that loop so it what it does is it, it, it will continue for the next iteration also so so let us just uh, see those things also so here I, i'm just uh, going to remove this track edge and I'll just put it inside the for loop. So now here I've just modified the program. So I have just used the uh, track edge block inside the for loop. So like whenever any type of error or exception arises, so automatically hit, it will hit to the catch block obviously. But also it will it will it will run the next loop also. So let me run it quickly. So I'm just going to debug it line by line. So we are in the first loop. So where i equal to zero. So it will it will raise this exception. Okay. So now let me just press F10. So now we are going to 
going to run the second loop so here you can see i equal to 1 so which is our second loop so again it will throw the exceptions and again it will it will it will run for the second sorry third loop so which is i equal to 2 so obviously it will run for like run for so whatever the count is there or uh, obviously it will run for the that many number of times so now like here uh, what is the like so now here is uh, the disadvantage is if you, if you use the try catch block inside the for loop is so there will be a performance wise there will be an issue okay so it will impact the performance and like every time it will it will run the try catch block but the thing is let's say if you don't want to exit from that loop whenever any type of exception occurs then in that case you should use the try catch block inside the for loop but let's say whenever uh, exit from the uh, loop then in that case yeah you should use the try catch block outside the for loop so many people say that you should not use the for you, you should not use the try catch block inside the for loop it will impact the performance so so obviously i also say the same thing that it will definitely impact the performance wise okay but but the the idea is the concept is so like whether you want to use it inside the loop or outside the loop so each one is having its its own advantages and and disadvantages so if you, if you use the trackage block outside the loop then then obviously the trackage block will run only once but it will exit from the loop whenever any type of a exception or error arises but if you use it inside the for loop then it won't it it won't exit from that loop so 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 what it does is it it will continue that loop forever so so this is the basic idea of using the try catch block inside the loop and outside the loop so even if many people uh, like I, I saw some of the articles that you you should not use uh, inside the loop so but it is having its own advantages as well as disadvantages and and like you need to uh, you need to determine from your side that whether whether should i use it inside or outside this is all about our today's video like in in which scenario you need to use the try catch block uh, inside and outside the loop Thank you.